Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Well today I need to make a very special card. My dad is finally going to get to go on his honor flight trip to Washington DC. That's something here in the United States that happens to honor our veterans. My dad is a Vietnam veteran and he is very much looking forward to being honored. So as part of the trip, this is a secret, but of course my dad isn't online watching YouTube videos or any of that. He won't ever know that I did this. I am tasked with putting out a request for mail call cards and letters to thank him that they will open and read on their way home from Washington, D.C. So I dug into my trusty dusty stash. I have these big 12 by 12 envelopes that you can put papers in. I have this one labeled Summer Bright and Patriotic. And I pulled out these papers. Um, this was from 2021. It was called Stars and Sparklers. It sold out, but I think I bought two packs because I loved it so much. And since it's retired, it now lives in this little envelope. And it helps me when I categorize things like that when I'm looking for specific papers. The other items I used, some retired stars. These are really cool. A retired stitched bracket. I also pulled in another um, die cut that was a circle scallop. The autumn greetings. This was from the Cozy Up card making workshop. I love this circle here, so I'm using that. The simple serif uppercase letters. This is a stamp and mine is a stamp and thin cut set, so it cuts out all the little letters, and you can stamp on those cutouts. I did not stamp on mine today, but I used the thin cuts. Thoughtful token, stamp of the month. This bad boy has been finding it into all sorts of projects this month. Retired constant campaign called Courage. This was from many, many years ago, very many years ago, because look at that green packaging. Um, another constant campaign. These are a constant campaigns are those special, like one month items that are available that you know Memorial Day or something they'll come out with this. Again, green packaging, old. This one was called Loyal and True, and I do remember this was around Memorial Day, and this is just a year or two, three old. Um, anything patriotic, I have in a special patriotic section in my stamps storage. This is what my stamp storage looks like. For the most part, I have these fridge bins and I have a section marked patriotic and that helps me to keep track of where those go. I did use some Versafine black ink, scarlet ink, and sapphire ink. These two colors were featured very prominently in that paper pack. This is a uniquely sized card, um, and it is a fun fold card. So you open it like this and like this. Um, I will give you sizes. This started out as an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. I folded it in half. So now it's five and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches tall. And then I went and cut an inch and a half off of that top flap so that I can slip this one, this card in. And this is um, about a four by six and a half inch. It's just a custom size. So that's about it for my giving you um, dimensions because this is this is a card design that you can customize the dimensions to work for you. So as you stick it in, you want a little bit of a reveal and you can't really see it much here, a little bit where you can see how that lays. Um, once I get my patterns on there, you will see how it works. I already put together my bases. I used that scarlet cardstock as a base on all of my pages. I think for the ease of time, I am going to do the tape runner. So I'm starting with the 
very bottom layer. And I'm getting that in place. And now I'm going to start working from the top and go down. But you can see here where you get a reveal. Um, I'm, be I'm building my reveal. This is my top layer. I did a little bit of fussy cutting, and anyone who watches my videos knows I am not a super fan of fussy cutting, but for my dad, I will fussy cut. And what I did when I was cutting my layers is that each layer is a quarter of an inch shorter, both vertically and horizontally. So if it's four inches wide here, my red, my scarlet layer, is three and three quarter. Then that star paper would be three and a half inches wide. So you just narrow your paper by a quarter of an inch and that gives you a nice reveal. Some people like to go a little thinner in their margins. I find that I don't line that up very well. Got the next layer here. Okay, so I'm very excited that my dad finally gets to go. Everything was delayed by a couple of years because of COVID and all of the concerns with that. So he's excited that now he's going to get his chance because when he came back from Vietnam, I do not think it was a very pleasant experience. He never talked about it. He didn't say anything. But my mother commented on it. Uh, my dad came home and he worked, raised a family, didn't spend a lot of time dwelling. But as he gets older, he's nearly 80 years old, um, he's starting to say a few things. And it makes me appreciate how he came home and handled things all the more. I've got those two left, and then I've got all the panels in there. So yes, I've been sending out letters to people that I think would be interested in, in you know, sending him a, a note of appreciation. And I emailed a cousin, because I don't have some of my cousin's <laughs> addresses. <laughs> Just said, could you please share this with your people? And he was so nice. And he said, absolutely, I'd, I'd be more than happy to. And so I'm, I'm really hopeful that he will have a lot of, a lot of wonderful, positive pieces of mail to look at on his way home. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's a fun fold. So you can see now it, it makes much more sense now that you see the other patterns of paper. So you flip this one open. And so you get this. And I did keep the hero hidden there. So it's like a little surprise. That's like a little surprise. Open it up here. And this is where we will I will write a note to him here. And then this also it's just a nice little surprise and I think he will like it he always enjoys my handmade cards so I think he will like that now I did do another one and I think I did a video on this one maybe but this is for my son's birthday and so you can customize this design to work for whatever um, a person enjoys my son is a gamer so he loves that I don't know, Halo game, I guess. And so this this was a pocket. It held a gift card. But there's that. And then I also used the same design for my granddaughter's first birthday card. So again, I just customized it. This is a very simple one. I have I think I will add a little more to it, but that's the a good start and a good beginning. So that's it. That is my dad's honor flight card, the fun fold design.
Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like my video, push that subscribe button. Push the bell for notifications so YouTube knows to let you know when I post, which is most Tuesdays and Saturdays. And um, have a blessed crappy day. I'll see you next time.